hi viewers uh, welcome to the session and today uh, we are going to discuss on this part of the session so extruded deployments and the domain mode uh, and this is the new feature in this as part of this wildfly 11 okay so this is going to show you now i am in wildfly 11 so previous version we do not have a exploded deployments in the domain mode so and we have in standalone mode so but uh, in domain mode uh, they introduced the new feature in wildfly 11 so uh, now i'm going to show you how to do the deployment in the domain mode as exploded content so the advantages over here is we can on fly at runtime we can uh, know do the changes okay so it's a, it's a particularly uh, no development uh, perspective completely development environment so it's not recommended it's exploded deployment to the production okay so so please uh, consider this uh, no, this is recommended for the development cases okay so we have a wildfly 11 so let me go into this and uh, let me start this domain dot so when i'm trying to say domain dot sh file so in uh, domain mode basically we have a, a so if you see inside the domain dot and domain configurations so by default it is going to pick this host.xml file okay so when you're trying to start with just a domain.sh so it is going to pick this host.xml file okay so by default in this we have uh, the group and the server information okay so when you open and see here so here we have uh, uh, servers information so here we have a server one main group and server two main group server three other group when you're trying to start it so java so we have a total four processors started one is a process controller by default and host controller and by default so other than this server one and uh, server two so these two are started by default so that's what i want to show you so because we have to deploy after uh, doing this exploded deployments of our file so we have to deploy in that okay to check that so i will try to show you well let's start this uh, okay we started the server and successfully so now i'm going to uh, go to the cli uh, i'm going to show you now from the cli cli.sh connect controller so this is my ip address where my wi-fi 11 is running right now so uh, first uh, we are not yet deployed uh, anything right now on there okay so when you say here deployments deployments okay it's empty right now it's a nothing so deployment okay it's a deployment so it's a now it's a, everything is empty right now so so let me give the name so i will give this name http session login but now i want to add this the var file into this so we can give this content so this content so input a string index so this is the var file where so I'm trying to upload it. So my war file is located. So this is my war file location. This is my local so where this war file exists. So I give this name as a HTTP session login. Okay, then let me close this. So and uh, next runtime name. So obviously session login dot war file. Okay, so cool. Just press enter. So what will happen over here? The content added the location. So it is showing this content where it is gets uploaded. Okay, so if you see here uh here so it's a file it's not like a folder by default so we have a earlier this kind of thing so we have a the simple file the var file is located over here so right now uh so it's i want to explode that uh, explode that content so just go here deployment is equal to so we have by default we can the name. so here we have a possible test so we can try to explode here so this is explode so when i try to do this explode so the content is exploded the content is exploded okay now if you see here so so we have a sub number one minute oh, where it is uh, exploded at this location the name changes okay so here uh, now we have a folder so that's called means exploded that stuff so whatever we uploaded that var file so now if you see go to the inside so it's completely your project structure will come here so whatever the project you have it the same structure 
so when you're trying to do like this so when again when you're trying to do a small change as a development perspective a few class files and few xml files whatever so we can update it accordingly so okay that's what i was trying to show you uh, now uh, so we uh, exploded this so let me deploy this on this one server so deploy so anyway, it's a normal thing uh, deployment uh, the name is equal to HTTP session login so where I want to deploy let me take the uh, one server group that server group so server group main server group okay so I deployed on this so it is I think one of the server is uh, listening on this group so it's going to get deployed on this so so then we can able to access obviously okay so this is the main server group we deployed I think inside the main server group we have a server one okay so if you see the stuff uh, one second uh, sorry about this. okay so we'll come back to here again uh, what I was trying to show you here is domain uh, this is a host.xml file so I deployed in the main group so main server group uh, server 2 and uh, server okay so both are uh, no, they get started I think okay so we can, so we can access it directly so then HTTP session login talk in there okay so when I pass the password okay password is admin123 over here so okay, the code inside the code is written okay when I give a uh, logout and uh, login so I give something else where okay so username whatever you can give it so you can give some launch any number let me submit here is the username and password is wrong so that means say so what I was why, what I was trying to show you here is so the now uh, my username and password is uh, the uh, the information which is there in the code level okay so if you see my application so this is my uh, project uh, which we deployed right now so in the exploded deployments I was trying to now I was trying to change some class file so that's how to change it and again and do the deployment in the exploded so we change it and we will see again the content is you know changed or not so that's what advantage about this uh, instead of deploying complete warp and again so any small changes if you've done it then we can replace that directly so how to do that so now we deploy it so now my warp is exploded and we deploy the stuff cool so the now i want to change some stuff on this so what is uh, changes over here so here uh, uh, with this is content is located so let me go here exploded at this location so so here so so i want to change this index.html okay index.html so open this index.html i have some stuff over here okay so instead of uh, okay when you say here HTTP session login or something. So I got some stuff. This is uh, written uh, inside this index.html. Okay. So I want to upload this new HTML into this. So obviously, how to do that? So uh, so let me show you that. So one second. Okay. So this is written. Okay, so OPT under OPT I have a one small index.html. So okay, this is my second updated one. So existing one. So I want to modify using this index.html file. So I added something, some content onto this. Okay, so so this I will going to apply on this existing one. So overwrite. Uh, okay, this is my second patch. Uh, I'm trying to deploy into that. Okay, so how to do this or uh, deployments in this uh, HTTP session login and now here you can see here the possibility is add content so the, now i'm trying to add something into that add content so the content is equal to so here uh, the content will go to come input uh, stream index again so here uh, now i will pass my input onto this okay where my input is located opt index.html this is my input 
okay the same file in the destination where it is located so it can be the target path so this target path is completely uh, located in inside the uh, existing var file location okay so when i press the target path this is what we deployed I, this is what the content after exploding the deployments in this domain mode so i want to target this index.html file because i want trying to show you uh, on one uh, html file and one class files so then you can understand it okay so now i am trying to target this one okay let me close this spare passes cool and uh, overwrite i think so overwrite is equal to true so okay let me get this so here what we did is so we are trying to uh, make the new one so this new html file so we are trying to override into the existing index.html file okay so probably this is html file so it is gets updated immediately okay so we updated this new html file okay so let me uh, update the class file so this when i update a class file so but existing class file it will work so when i enter admin one two three so the password is admin one two three then only it will work but right now so I change this is my password. The password is password. So then only it will go into all of it. Let me check that is going to be uh, work or not. Uh, and uh, where is that located? Let me take that war file. So this is my new war file. So, okay. So here, what is the class name is uh, login servlet. So this is uh, okay login servlet. So here classes. Okay, this is my new code so this is one class file so i'm trying to right now update from the existing one so how to do that so again same thing deployments http session login so on this i want to do this add content content and the content is equal to and places and our input stream index so this is my source where is my source is located let me take that source is over here classes this is my source and here a login so this is my server what is the class it login servlet okay this is the code uh, contains the my password information validating and then then what is my uh, target target path so it's like uh, inside my web enough obviously go to the web enough so again classes so where my target class files login servlet yes this is what i want to you know, override this okay so that's it so this is file uh i think and then close this dot and this overwrite is equal to true so i was trying to overwrite that so it is succeeded uh, okay so whatever uh, it is going to affect the groups servers okay right now we deployed uh, running two servers so it just gets affected on these two okay so it's it's updated okay so overwritten or not okay so anything else required let's see that okay so let me access so right now it should allow the password okay the password is password submit so it's not allowing still okay so probably so what i'm trying to do is here uh host so master so where i want to just uh, i was trying to reload the server config and this uh server let me take this server one okay so let me just reload this on the server one level so not the server two even just i'm trying to load the server one okay so it just gets loaded the stuff and now let me try that session login so it should allow admin and this password is being system already password cool now it is allowing that so existing one it's modified so we, we need to reload that stuff okay that's it okay so like this uh, we can able to you know do this explore so it's completely uh, for the development environment so much you know it will give you some time saving stuff on this so this is what the new future so that's what i'm trying to show you now today so in the next uh, in the session, we are going to discuss the SSL part. Okay, so stay tuned. So we'll be back with a few more videos in the coming classes. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.